Hi, I'm Rob Davis on the 18th hole here at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to get more backspin. Oh, there's loads on that. Let's raise your game. So everybody loves seeing those shots that hit the green and then spin back towards the pin. Uh, and as professionals, we often get asked, how do we do it? The fact of the matter is, if you're getting the golf ball airborne, you're producing backspin. But to actually see the ball physically come back to you, you probably need to get a little bit more in the way of revolutions or higher spin rates. There are quite, there are quite a lot of factors that contribute to this. So I'm gonna talk about three absolute key factors. So the number one factor for me is friction or grip as I like to call it. The more grip we can create at impact, the faster that golf ball is going to be spinning. First thing we absolutely need is clean grooves on a premium wedge with ideally a premium golf ball with a nice soft outer layer and relatively receptive greens. So to maximise that grip, we really need a good quality strike. Um, so off a nice fairway lie or even a tight knit lie is, is ideal to create that maximum amount of spin uh, with a nice slight downward angle of attack. If you look back on other videos that I've done, you'll understand the importance of this to create a good strike. So ideally what you're looking for is to feel that the ball is struck and the divot comes second. Loads of spin on that one again. So if your ball ends up in the rough and you've got a little bit of a fluffy lie and as you sit that club down behind the ball you can kind of see that there's every chance that you're going to get some grass stuck between the ball and the face at impact then you're definitely not going to see that ball backing up so allow for it and actually think to yourself yeah right i know this is going to roll out a little bit more so kind of maybe looking at landing at the front of the green and just let it roll out finished up pretty good. So the next thing we need is the right amount of loft to create that ball spinning back to us. Uh, for this video I've been using a 54 degree wedge which I know for me is going to go around about a hundred yard carry and maybe back up a few yards as well. Um, you can do it with lower lofted clubs, uh, it's not really advisable to try it, it's possible but you need a lot of club head speed. And on the other side of the coin, you can almost go with too much loft. I see a lot of people with 64 degree wedges. Yes, you can spin them back, but often the ball almost slides up the face too much. So it's not actually going to create quite as much grip. Um, it will still stop pretty quickly, obviously because of the high launch angle and very steep landing angle. But you're probably going to get more backspin with a 54, 56 degree wedge shot. So my last key ingredient is speed. You need a certain amount to create that maximum amount of grip. So as I said earlier, we've got a 54 degree wedge. I'm hitting it with positive acceleration from 105 yards or so, and I know that this is gonna back up. Pretty good, that one. What I see people doing is perhaps trying to hit nine, eight irons and hitting it easier, your ball's just not gonna spin as much and probably launch a little bit lower too. And not even the world's best can get the ball physically coming back with just shorter distances. They can certainly get it stopping pretty quick, but you're not gonna see it actually spin back. So those are my three key ingredients for creating backspin, friction, loft and speed. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please thumbs up the video and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and look forward to catching you next time. Yes. Oh, mate, at Got there. Mate, Got there. recording. You kidding? No. <laughs> <laughs>